glad uh, that it's uh, caused uh, a lot of debate. I'm glad that people are talking about it. And if that's what it takes to have uh, people talking about something as serious as this, then so be it. I don't mind uh, being the focus of a little bit of attention. What do you think about the questioning of the appropriateness of talking about Israel? On the well, I, I, again, as I said uh, earlier in, in, a, in a discussion, I think uh, when you look at what uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu said uh, yesterday, uh, and we all know that uh, Israel is on the front lines of fighting this. I don't know that anybody can deny that uh, Israel stands on the front line, <coughs> excuse me, combating uh, uh, these type of attacks uh, day in and, and day out. We, uh, the government of Canada, has made it quite clear that we're going to continue to support Israel, but we're also going to we're also going to do our best to help fight ISIL, uh, uh, the ISIL terrorist group, as part of a broad uh, global coalition. We want the support of all parties in the House. We've not been able to get the support of. Uh, of uh, the NDP in the House, and I think uh, the comments that uh, that I uncovered yesterday with respect to this uh, NDP staffer really highlight one of the problems in bringing the NDP uh, uh, online with this fight against uh, the ISIL terrorists, and uh, uh, and uh, and I think it's appropriate to ask whether their inability to uh, uh, have a coherent policy on Israel is what's impacting their decision against uh, uh, supporting our fight against the ISIL terrorists. Do you, do you think you made?